VPN services, they're everywhere and everybody wants you to subscribe to one, but do they truly make your internet more secure? Let's chat about that. Welcome to my personal opinion. I'm JM and these certainly are my opinions. I want to talk about those VPN services you keep seeing pop up everywhere. A lot of YouTubers are advertising it. There's a lot of advertisements in different spaces and several different companies are pushing their own version of these VPN services. But I wonder, do people really know what a VPN is and you know, does it really actually do much to help um, secure your information? Remember on the internet, it's basically a bunch of private networks all interconnected, inter internet. And when you go from your private network, be it your home or your ISP or you know, however you're getting onto the internet and traveling through the public interwebs to get to the private network of whatever you're trying to reach, the theory here is, is you're on a public space that anybody theoretically could sniff out. So the, the fear is, is a multifold, right? One is my ISP checking me out? Is my ISP recording my information? If I went to a site that my ISP doesn't like, would they know about it? And then, you know, the whole fear of hackers on the internet, seeing your data as it meanders along to get to its destination, can they watch what it's, uh, you know, what's in there? The, the difficulty is to be straight up is that it, it I think it fundamentally and if you kind of watch how they're presented it, it doesn't really tell you what a VPN is and how it works. I've been in IT for a long time and you know remote work has been around forever and if you work for some big corporation and they have their internal private network a lot of the stuff inside that network is not accessible to the public. And in big website setups, that's common too. You know, you have a big website, a pieces of the web server exposed so that people can get to it. But behind that web server could be a bunch of other servers, database servers, uh, you know, different types of components that do different things that may reach out to other websites to collect data. But all of those are designed to be hidden behind the a, what's called a firewall. And hidden behind this private network. And since, you know, the question becomes, well, I, I need, let's say I work for company ABC and company ABC has a website and that website, uh, frankly, um, you know, has a problem. And let's say the database server is having issues, which is causing the website to go down. The question comes is I'm at home late at night. Do I climb in a car and try to get to the physical location of the private network or do I try to have some way to get from my computer into that network without compromising security? So VPNs or virtual private networks were basically designed to connect my computer at home to that private network that that web server or uh, database server or whatever is having problems on. And what it does is it creates this tunnel, encrypted tunnel from my computer into that private network it makes it like i'm physically there and so i have access to all the computers in there that normally i wouldn't have access to so it's i guess a way to look at it is like taking you know one of the old network cables you know i know a lot of people are on wi wireless these days but for those of you that still remember we used to do almost everything through a network cable it's a little bit like snapping a network cable into my computer and tossing it all the way to, uh, to a physical location that makes it so that I get in there without compromising security. So what these companies have basically done is use that kind of uh, technology to bring you from your computer into their private network directly. So it's encrypted, it's, it's secure, nobody can see it, even your ISP can't see it. It's locked between your computer generally. And understand I'm, you know, I'm kind of uh, simplifying some of this stuff. Um, it, it you know, creates an, a tunnel between you and the VPN's private network. 
that's where the questions really should come from is that the encryption that ever they're selling is only between them and your computer. Remember, they're not the internet. They're a private network on the internet. So, okay, you get encrypted from your computer into that public, or excuse me, private infrastructure, and you have no clue what goes on from there. They could just as, you know, people say, well, I want to ha have privacy for my ISP, but what makes a, you know, a VPN service that much more trustworthy? Because they can, they know exactly who you are. You know, your data is going from your computer into their private network and you have no clue what happens from there. Their, their systems, their services could easily uh, record everything, uh, log it. And, you know, you're, you're basically, <laughs> you, you just, you can't test any of this. You can't find out. Sure, they're going to tell you, no, we don't do that. No, we don't do that. Don't worry about it. No, we don't do that. I mean, again, it goes to trust. Uh, if you're especially somebody who doesn't trust your ISP, are you now going to trust the uh, the VPN service? And why would you be more trusting of the VPN service? So understand also that eventually you still have to get out of their network. They're not the internet. They're a private network. So to, uh, to get to let's say google.com, you still eventually have to get out of that VPN to the public internet and get to their server in their private network. And unless you know they're making deals with these big companies and somehow putting links all the way into their private networks, which is highly unlikely and not gonna be the case for every single company, you're just eventually going to have to exit their private network to get to where they're going. And if you think about, you know, that, by the way, that's how this whole situation of being able to trick a, um, a streaming service into thinking you're coming from somewhere you're not, they could theoretically uh, uh, have an exit point either in Australia or somehow kind of tricking the system because understand that uh, the internet is full of things called IPs or internet protocol addresses, I, you know, inter IP addresses um, that are geo -li linked. So there's a set of IP addresses for Australia. There's a set of IP addresses for China. There's a set of IP addresses for Europe. And, you know, and when you basically exit a private network, you attach an IP to that exit point and so when the, the service sees you coming in, when like Netflix sees you coming in, uh, it thinks you're coming from Australia or China. Or, I know China is a whole different story, but, um, you know, London, it, you know, that's how those tricks happen. Because again, you're going from your computer into that network and escaping that network to get onto the public internet anyway. So, yeah, okay, that's cool. I mean, if that's what you're looking for for VPN service, that can be to your advantage. But as far as security goes, I kind of would say you're just throwing the, tossing the problem a little bit down the street. You know, you're going from the problem being at your computer through the ISP onto the public web to you're going through your computer, through a tunnel into their private network and still exiting at some point. Matter of fact, I would challenge and, you know, I, I'm okay with being wrong, but I would challenge that maybe it's even a little more questionable because these are now big access points, big exit points. You know, it's one thing you're exiting from your little private ISP. Uh, you know, you may be part of some just local group, uh, which isn't going to have as much traffic going out as opposed to a very juicy massive pipe of people coming out of one of these VPN services. So there could possibly be, you know, I don't know. And if they have a breach in their private network, uh, which is, too, you know, again, juicy, people know these VPN services. If they somehow get into that private network, you know, where does that go? So I, I hope I explained it well. Uh, I've been in, I, you know, uh, in the IT industry for 30 years and 
you know, I, I could argue or you could argue that I overanalyze some of this stuff, but I don't think this is an overanalyzation. I think that companies are telling you, hey, trust us, uh, bring all your traffic into our infrastructure, we'll protect you. And I think you should rightly ask questions and rightly think, hmm, where, you know, where is my data going? How are you protecting it? Um, so my conclusion really comes to, I don't think, I don't use them because I just, uh, I don't, you know, if, if some, one of these big companies wants to come talk to me and show me how I'm wrong, I would love to, to have a follow-up video showing how that these uh, services actually do help encrypt your data all the way to the to these servers. But just as a, as a thought, remember, you generally are encrypting already. You're encrypting from your web browser to the web server. That's what SSL is, the secure socket layer. You know, the little, uh, at least in some browsers, you have the little uh, lock icon. That's because you're, you have an encryption in place. So, yeah, there are cases where you could end up on a web server that doesn't have proper certificates. And so, okay, theoretically, I just want to make sure all my traffic goes down an encrypted tunnel, which is theoretically it happened. But again, it only, it only is encrypted until you get into their infrastructure and then you have no clue where you're going from there. So I, I if you do, you know, one thing out of this, get one thing out of this video, I would just ask that you at least research who you're going to connect with, whether or not they deserve your trust. Should you be able to trust them? You know, and I'm not naming any of these big companies because, you know, I, I just, I don't want, I don't have any specifics to say somebody was hurt going through XYZ VPN, but certainly just have this stuff in your head that, you know, it's security. You should be paranoid about security. You should be paranoid about your information. And you certainly should be willing to ask questions that say, you know, is this really worth uh, this monthly fee? And so really the conclusion I have is I wouldn't do it for security. Um, I, you know, that's my opinion. I you know, if you need that whole, I want to, you know, I have some show that for some reason only Australia can see, and that's what you want to use it for. Great. But just understand that this is not some big silver bullet to security because at the end of the day, you have to, at some point, climb onto the public internet. And whether you're doing it from your computer or your cell phone or your tablet onto a carrier network, or out of this VPN service, there's some point in which you have to accept that it's going to be exposed and you have to rely on other ways to encrypt this data. Having good connections with good, well, reputable, uh, you know, web servers, reputable companies. And, you know, not that I want to get too into it, but, you know, that that's not always a guarantee either. So that's what I hope that you can take from this, kind of think about it understand how these VPN systems work and understand that they are not some magic cure for security. And, you know, you need to be safe out there. You need to kind of do your research. And uh, like I said, I, I do hope this has given you something to think about. I really appreciate all of you that have uh, watched this all to the end. I hope this was valuable and, uh, you know, be safe. Thanks again for listening. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon so you can be alerted to upcoming videos. This is JM of My Personal Opinion, signing off.